Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Terry Erickson, alongside Aaron. Hello, Alexander, that's yeah. my name. Oh, you did it, you did, did it. Thing. Except he said hello in between Aaron and Alexander. That's which... my middle name. Oh, 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 we're learning that today, right before we watch Jigsaw, technically number eight in the series that we are doing. Do not forget. Do not forget to leave a like. You got to type in there and you got to leave a comment. Tell us how cool this movie is, how cool we are. And also don't forget to ring the bell. Ring the bell. That's right. And thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. And also don't forget, we call you super sexy if you join on Patreon. If you get if you get on Patreon, you get super exclusive highlights, watch longs with Greg and with John. But then with us, you can sync up with your entire whole copy. Watch all of Jigsaw with me and Aaron. And it's so much fun. We're so much fun. Get on it. Okay. Do you got anything to say before we watch this? I'm, I'm ready to jig Jigsaw. Whoa! Yeah. He's ready to Jigsaw in the voice of the guy who sang It's a Beautiful World. Okay, great. Uh, let's get to it. Oh my gosh, it's okay. a new lion's gate. A new lion's gate. Hey. 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 Ooh, just oh. the pictures. Is the same? No, it's not. Is this different? No, it looks better. It looks, it looks updated. better. They updated it. Okay. But okay. They kept Oh, oh, blood after twisted picture. Twisting up the twisted pictures. Jigsaw's when it got upgraded. Okay, okay. Okay. So I know, one thing. the only thing I know about this movie is this one came out in 2017 and the last one came out in 2010. Oh my gosh, that is such a gap. Yeah. I did not, okay. Huge. I didn't know that. Yeah, they waited a while. Oop. Rut row. This is already shot way better. Than, oh, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's got a vibe. What, way more cinematic. Yeah, it actually feels like a movie, not a TV yeah. show. Mm-hmm. I'd hop in the air vent. Oh, the game. X marks the spot. Oh. Cool car. Sick whip. We got some new cops, new officers right. involved. They look serious. Ready for business. All of you, get back. Edgar, Edgar, what the f doing? Mm -hmm. hmm. What's that for? Games are just getting started. I gotta choose who dies. Target the remote. If he moves to trigger it, blow it to shit. Who's controlling you? I'm not dying. Oh shit, shit. Damn. Ah! Nice shot. And let the games begin. Well, clearly you did die. Yeah, are you just gonna bleed out via your hand? Yeah. And you got the ab wound after that. <laughs> yeah. It's started. Oh, we're ready. All right, let's go. Okay. I see what you're doing there with the puzzle pieces wow. and the jigsaw. You think you're clever, huh? Okay, movie. They were like title sequences. We've got to do an upgrade. <laughs> Oh, cool. We haven't seen buckets before. Okay. I like All this. Right. Reboot with the bucket. Let's see what you guys got going. We've seen five people in a room before, but yeah, not this specific trap. It's going to be a, probably a work together thing. Yeah, like uh, like, like they got to yeah, because it looks like the puzzle piece is kind of a people. Like if they can move the chain, I don't know. If they can move the chain, it looks like it's a puzzle piece to work it out. Oh, God. Okay, God. Why is there always that one guy? Right? Always God. the... Just like loses it. I'm sure you're all wondering why you're here. Salvation can be yours if you cleanse yourselves of the habitual lies which have brought you here. Confess. The truth will set you free. I want to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing the Trump buckets from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh yeah. 
green light. To escape from this room, if you can release yourself from your demons, you can begin to shed the chains. Make the simple blood sacrifice that I've requested. Okay, so the chains are going to shorten, right? And then they saws them off, but... I would just confess at this point. I'd be like, here are all my sins, all my lies. So sorry. Right. What do you have to lose? You're already going to die. Oh, God. What? He just passed out? What's going on? Damn. I'm just getting dragged by the head like that? Well, he's kind of in the right position. Um, the, the saws don't go down that far. Oh, true. Oh. What? A little bit of blood, an offering of blood is what she's saying. So, like, oh, oh, oh. nice. It's a little bit of blood, an offering. Okay, at least she's helping. Yeah, this this feels more like a John trap than a Hoffman trap. Yes. Ooh, you cut your finger off, boy. Finger, bro. Oh God, I don't want it. Just do it. Ah, ah. Oh my God. Ooh. Dumb, dumb. Ooh. Get a big, oh. big cut, big cut. People are always be freaking out. How is homie still asleep? I know. Dragged by what? the head. Exactly. What happened to him? An okay. offering. Oh, bye bye, buddy. Unless they pull that shit where he comes back. I know, right? And he's just like partially cut up and his face is half gone, but he's still living. I wouldn't put it above this, this franchise at this point. <laughs> oh, right. Like he's the setup guy. Right. Yeah. yeah, totally. Why do you think he asked for you? We're good friends. We put him away twice. Edgar Munson is a sociopathic meth head. Been in and out of prison for assault and battery, armed robbery, drug dealing. Nice guy. With no hand or with one hand now. I've got him in a barbiturate induced coma until he stabilizes. How long? So he has to come down for two hours, two weeks. Start the suspect list with Munson's known associates. The thing about this franchise is I don't trust anything. So, yeah, right. So, I'm like, so now we're looking at every single character going like. Who's part of this? Right. But, but also, where is this in the timeline? True. <laughs> what do you want with us? I want to play a game. <laughs> I'm Mitch. What's your name? Carly. He said it was a game. And I hope for all of our sakes that it is a game. This game is going to be won. Have they never heard of Jigsaw before? I thought he was like this famous killer. Boy. Are they going to be like, this is actually the first game? Right. <laughs> Why are these people staring at me like that? Oh, what are they like? behind oh, her. Oh, God. a dead hanging bucket, man. Don't look back. Don't do it. She's gonna scream. Yep. Yeah. Of course she's gonna scream. She's no one gonna... else is screaming, but of course she's the one. <laughs> she's the one. Wasn't that super laser? Whoa! Okay. Why does he only have a diagonal head now? Oh my god, what was this nice in there? I think so. I don't want it. That's rough. Someone's been studying up on John Kramer. Okay. Copycat? So we do know. Oh, okay. no. Kramer's been dead for 10 years. Okay. Oh, look at us go. Okay. Mm. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, Good to see you. You, you two know each other? Logan was our medic in Fallujah. I'm sorry to hear about Christine. How you been, man? Yeah. Um, doing well. What is it? Gross. It's gross is what it is. Oh, yep, so a chip. Drive. Oh, we've gotten advanced. It's not a key and it's not a cassette tape anymore. And then there were four. The games have begun again and they will not stop until the sins against the innocent are atoned for. I will take care of the next four. You take care of the rest. Sounds like John. Yeah, it does. Oh, maybe because it's so advanced that someone can just speak into a microphone and make it sound exactly like him. Like AI? Yeah. Like, like a voice modulation. Oh, are we getting advanced? Spooky. spooky ooky. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, my God. Is that a robot? Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
it's definitely Billy. But what does he look like now? Is it Billy 2.0? Yeah. Is he, like, old? <laughs> Did they <laughs> age the puppet? Oh, no. He's advanced. He has grown eyes now. Dang. He grew up. He's a, he a little tall boy now. Confess. Oh, look. It still says, play me with a cassette tape player. Oh. I like that vintage touch. Yeah, nostalgic. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang, girl. Damn. I stole a kid's bike once. Stole a kid's bike. I stole the kid's bike. Interesting. While I am certain that there is a desire to point fingers at me, unless you turn that finger inward, more blood will be lost. One who is not only a liar, but a thief. And when you had a chance to fix the harm that you've done, you chose to do nothing. Yikes. This criminal was injected with a poison. One of the syringes in front of you holds the antidote. One is a saline solution. The other, an acid that will cause an excruciating death. Yikes. Inject the correct one. Failure to make the right choice could result in death for you all. I ask you, what is a life worth to you? Okay, so the blonde girl's a pert snatcher, right? So she's gonna know what the numbers mean. Check yourself for marks. Huh? If he injected us, there could be marks. One, two, one. Why don't y'all just say which one it is? Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. I'm like, right. come on now. Bingo. What are you doing? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. She also listened to the tape, right? Come on, girl. Did you steal horses? Yeah, years ago, but I, I, did, I didn't kill anyone. You're lying! I was broke, okay? And somebody died, but I, it wasn't my fault. Shoes? Huh? I'm going to stick them all in the Yo, chill. <laughs> yeah, bro. $3.53. What does that mean? Life is worth to me. Oh, because that's all she made from that steal? Okay. Carl, you better start injecting that. You already said which one it is. It's she fucking... just said it's the... Th Damn, this is intense. Girl, you already know the answer. Are we about to 323. Yo, hit her with it. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. He's trying to swing like Wolverine. What just happened? Pick the right one, I guess. Oh. oh. Or all of them. Ooh. Oh. Bye-bye, honey. Damn. Oh, my God. Is that what acid does? I can't. Holy shit. Mm. Oh, I hate it. Damn. Whoa. Damn. Oh, oh, is she going to explode? Oh, my God. Oh, what my is God. Oh, I hate it. That's crazy. God, that's gross. This is why you don't do acid, kids. Don't do acid. It's Crazy trip. I just saved our lives. You took her. You killed her. You selfish son of a bitch. Both of y'all need to chill. What he said. Also, why are you guys all dumb dumb? She said, literally said out loud, three twenty three, and yeah. like no one thought to come on. Life is worth three dollars and fifty three cents. That's what she said. Just drop the other two. And that's what she's saying. She's like, that's what she said. Yeah. It's dummy. Le dumb dumb. Let's put numbers on the inside of this. It could be the combination. Dental ID's bucket hat is Malcolm Neal. His wife was murdered five years ago. The home invasion, perp slit her throat, made him watch. 
Oh, man. Voice was John Kramer. Matched. Identical. Came back from the dead. Just because someone is dead doesn't mean they can't have a voice. The recording says there are four more potential victims. Also, like, the lighting in this movie, it's different. I like, was it's just mo- thinking that. It's just a little bit darker. It's moodier. They're being way more specific, I think, with the lighting in this one than I've seen in the prior ones I've watched. No, yeah, they, they took extra care and attention to it. Yeah, it feel, feels like a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a movie. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're in the countryside somewhere. I I can't make out any landmarks. Nothing. And I have the feeling this story, the specific one, is going to be more self-contained. Which is what we were asking for too, right? Yeah, because everyone yeah. from two through seven was just like another chapter in the yeah. This I like that thing. we're sitting with these guys, right? What's your sin, Ryan? Sold bad mortgages, sold good coke, cheated on my taxes, cheated on my wife, both of them. What's your story, Lollipop? Ugh. Lollipop? Who uh, wrote this? Exactly. <laughs> Stab that guy right now. Why am I being punished for something that he did? Yeah, but honestly, you wouldn't have Ooh, jets, over Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Hold on, honey. <laughs> oh my god he rolled on the baby oh my god he rolled over and suffocated the babe this is why you need a crib Look, there are two perfectly good doors right here right right so we go through the door that leads exactly where he wants us to yeah. go no thanks <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotcha bitch Oh, what's wrong, Blow Pop? Does that hurt? (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be okay, Sugar Lumps. (laughs) You got to cut into him. Get some wire cutters. (laughs) Bye bye, leg. The thing I like about this one is this is the first time since the first or second one that the games felt like it was like the primary plot. Yes. And as opposed to being like this obligatory thing that they had to that do. That they had to do. This feels like, yeah, I agree. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Oh, is that a Ooh. good thing that you just, nope. Guys, look around in the environment. Are there shears in there? Cut the wires. No, you got to grab the tape. You're going to call him a bitch and he's going to try to grab a tape for you? Leave him. Dude, leave him and his dumb leg. You almost got it. I'm trying, dude. You got it, you got it. Please don't fall in. I can't. This uh, <laughs> is <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it worked out. <laughs> uh, We're fine. Oh, my God. That was so intense. Oh, no, he's going to cut that one. I thought he was going to cut his uh, He got it. Okay, get move Ooh. away now. There are no shortcuts in life. Please forgive the rather crude example I will make of your decision to not follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Pull the handle and you will be set free. What does he mean set free? (laughs) Good luck, (laughs) Lollipop. They also found traces of Vajeski's disease. It's a virus. Mostly known because when swine get it, farmers have to wipe out the entire sander. Keep digging. Maybe I can track the virus through location. Dr. Nelson, another one. Possible jumper. She is into him. I was just going to say that. There's something going They're on here. They're having or about to have relations. And I'm like, why is this plot added in here? There will be a reason. That was some intense eye contact. Right? <laughs> no link so far to any of our suspects. See how she's like looking? I'm like, what is what is her? It feels like there's something else with it. Oh, damn. damn. Like Ugh. Ugh. This is the injection point. The vein carried it all the way to the heart where it's singed. How'd you know it was hydrofluoric acid? I saw a lot of it in Fallujah. Okay. Puzzle piece. Jake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this like, why is that like that? <laughs> why did you what, say it like that? Why is it, like- what? <laughs> Who said cut? Great, moving on. <laughs> How can you give, give a piece of the story, but also say I want to you at the same time? <laughs> like, why does she have to want to him? I'm like, how is this going to come back? <laughs> I don't deserve this. I confess. I confess that this is up. 
Guys, somebody turned on a TV. Hello? You got to climb on his shoulders, yeah. Get on his shoulders. Come on now. Ooh. Okay, so this could be a situation where if he pulls it, he gets his leg cut off. He could help them, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Maybe. Ooh, it's digital now. <laughs> Not in the film so anymore. Advanced. Right. In the past, you have all put your own interests above others. Now, you will look in the mirror and you will face who you really are. You cannot escape the truth. One person who can help you. <laughs> If you close the lever before you are buried alive, will you free yourself to free them? Do it, Ryan. I just want to see an edit of all of Ryan's facial expressions <laughs> <laughs> isolated from the context. <laughs> Ew, what, so is, what is it? It's sand. He said they're gonna he's gonna bury them alive. Oh, it's grain. <laughs> and initially, I thought it was going to be like like bloody fingernails because I would be like, that would be a gross. That's a lot of fingernails. That's so many. <laughs> Where do you get that? He's many got them from, from all the dead bodies. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's do it. Where were you the night Malcolm Neil got murdered? Home. Um, can you prove that? Do I need to? Yes, because you got something spooky going on with you. Got an off vibe. Yeah. I'm sorry you have to stay so late again, Judy. Don't worry about it. Love you too, Daddy. Love you, bye. Got a family. Hello, you didn't hear of a website called Jigsaw Rolls? No. Took some digging, but it's a site devoted to Jigsaw. We did a dark net IP troll. Got a lot of hits from your system. Yeah, okay. Oh. So you're saying that Eleanor Bonneville is our copycat? That's a fake name. How did Eleanor come to you? She sought out the department. I mean, three months ago, she was offered a job running the show at the Cleveland City Morgue. Why didn't you take that? This is a blood sample of a perp taken a decade ago. It's an exact match. Whose blood is it? John Kramer. Well, she would have access to that if she's a morgue person. But I'm like, she's too easy. Like, they but laid it on so thick. But here's the thing. He, if, he, being... if he died 10 years ago, how do you have his blood? You know? Well, he probably took his blood and stored it somewhere, right? I wouldn't oh, put okay. past John to go here, keep this, okay. right? I can see For that. a future. Future use or something. So you can clone my body. Yeah. <laughs> what? You were so close. You are. Oh, you. Screw you. You dude. are going to die. Yeah. Good. Now we decide. Now he gets buried alive, right? He's watching the Mr. whole time. Mr. Blow Pop. You could have chose to save them. He failed the game. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Just go underneath. Interesting. Yeah, hide under the sand. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> Sky. This is just One facial light. expressions out of context are really yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh. I hate this guy so much. He sucks. I'm like, really? You Save suck. Your fellow You're man. like, you are the suckiest, suckiest person that ever lived. Who's going to save him, even though it's going to sacrifice his leg? Finally, you did it. Good job, buddy. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> At least it looks like a straight on cut. Yeah. It's a clean cut, man. Right? Little pieces, little yeah. chunkies. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Damn. Nice. Close. Nice catch of yourself. Why didn't you tell me about the job offer in Cleveland? Because you would have told me to take it. Yes, yes, you're damn right. I would. It's complicated. We are past complicated. And Buckethead was strung up. I was at my uh, studio. Your murder studio? You know about the Jigsaw fan website, whatever the f you're doing on that. You're going to find out about everything. They think I'm involved. Only with you, intimately. Why do people leave? No. Only the doors open. The door open. open. Nobody does that. Even open for a pig mask. Come on. Oh, it's the cops. Oh. The black cops. 
the cop. Follow Ooh. him. But he going to die, though. I feel it. Yeah. He kind of gave vibes that he could be in on it, right? Yeah, but also the thing that's this, the mistrust of this franchise. Yeah. Oh, hey, I should warn you. Doesn't turn the lights what on. It, oh, it's probably She's just a, a fan BDSM girl. studio. She's a fan girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the one from two. Top of him. Oh, that's, that's like the one that from back in the yeah. Four or oh, five because he has his head on the top. She's a collector. Yeah. Hey, a girl's gotta have a hobby. Is that what you call it? Having a stamp collection. That's a hobby. The mouth clamp from two and seven. John Kramer designed this trap for a game that took place before all the others. They found the plans in his lab. I built it myself. None of Kramer's victims died in any device like this. Maybe the bodies were never found. And maybe it never happened. What are you doing with all this stuff? You got the old school camera. Oh, oh sneaky. Sneaky eeky with the glove on. Maybe it's our him. primary cop. The blonde guy, and that's yeah. why he's so weird. Oh, are they working together? Oh, damn. Huh. Is he in a Saw game? Are we going to be like he was in a game? I feel like he would have said something in the last in the last part. The commissioner wants to see Jigsaw's remains. Yep. He wants proof he's really dead. He said he wants to calm the people's fears. Are you serious? You're chasing a dead man. He's been dead for 10 years. Come on now. It is all yours. I'm going to follow up on these. Right on. Oh, he's a veteran. So mm. Maybe that's why. Okay. Did they get kidnapped? Oh. Yeah. Severe relapse. He's still breathing. <laughs> Says his name, says his name. When no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. Why are we playing games? <laughs> Play it for him. Always test drive. Ooh. Wow. He was my nephew. Before you buy. His nephew. The device you see here has a unique power source. It's the same engine that graced the bike you sold my nephew. Oh, wow. I assure you, the brake lever for this one works perfectly. Huh. Avoid the dangers around you. Hit the motorcycle brake handle and the motor will stop. What an elaborate trap. Oh. This girl's literally the only one putting in work trying to save people the entire time. I'm just going to say it. Literally no one else has tried as hard as her. She's the MVP. Also, there's no way that could be John's voice if that's his nephew and he died 10 years ago. Like his, right. th that looks like. Has to be someone we already know. Yeah. Within this movie. <laughs> grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. He got scrambled up. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. boy. Oh, should've, boy. Should have grabbed it. There he goes. But also, did he stand a chance inside of that trap? No. I got, oh, God. This freaking guy. <laughs> Pull the Houdini. Nobody saw shit. Just pulling Kramer's casket out now. Oh, it's not going to be in there. It's just a Billy puppet. What if it's that box? Did we ever see what's... Oh, we did. What if there's, a, so, what if there's another tape envelopes. in the box? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Say so you can call out the hunt for a good mindset. Well, there are no cameras in the hospital? Apparently not in this movie. <laughs> Apparently not in this reality. Oh, this is harkening back. This feels like two. Whoa. 
Ooh, Ooh. There then two. there were two. I'll tell you everything I know. I know who did this. And you do too. Who found the body at Eleanor's studio? Right, he did put up like a good act with like you. You let him go? Who ordered the, the targeting of the remote? If he moves to trigger it, it'll blow it to shit. Everybody targeted the trigger, but did anyone actually see what Halloran was aiming at? Do you think your partner knows that you're with IA? Internal affairs. <laughs> Helen's trying to frame me. I don't even know what he's got against me. You know you called him out for some of those slam down cases. He said he was a, a moron in the press twice. No, I said he was an impulsive asshole. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of firearm do you use? Glock 22. 9x19 Parabellum. That's a Glock 17. I'm starting to feel like he maybe did it. I'm like, right? there's no way it's this easy, It wouldn't right? make sense it for him wouldn't. to be taking photos. But you have to see a pig mask, though, too. I don't know how that body... No, 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 it's okay. They don't think it's you or me. I think I know where the game is being played. That's great. Let's call it detective. No! You get off on this shit. Logan. Of course I do. This is a chance for us to save lives. So we're gonna take out a serial killer with what? Our cunning intellects. No, our sexual tension. That only she's <laughs> really ramping up right. in this film. <laughs> she's carrying it on her back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, let me focus. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's outside? Oh God. Yeah, we go. got it. Oh, I hope that wasn't acid. It wasn't. That's good. No, it's going to put her to sleep. Right? Yeah. Killer. Not yet. If it is that cop, though, it's kind of lackluster. Yeah. It, it's, it like, oh, okay. it's too. You can't be. Can't be. Well, I guess we'll see right here if they're going to reveal it. Too obvious, I guess. That's not Jaws, is it? Right, they bring him back to life. That's John. They they cloned him. What the actual? What? What the actual? What? Did he get cloned? What? Did he get cloned? Does he have a twin (laughs) brother? This is bullshit. Is he a triplet? There's no way. You oh died! My God. You wholly died! Oh my God. Oh my God. You're about to play a game. This makes no sense. It's a final test. I already passed your test. Look at my fing leg! That wasn't your test, Ryan. This. You want me to show mercy? You who hasn't taken even a single step toward confessing? You who's responsible not for one death, but for three. You had stage four cancer. Of reckless deceit started in high school. Mercy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I did it, but it was so long ago. I want to live. As do I, Ryan. But things happen. Were it not for a careless mistake by a resident at the hospital I was in. Oh my god, they made. My cancer could have been diagnosed a lot sooner. Yeah, please explain this. Yeah. It was simply the like- wrong name. X-ray. Oh, I knew it. They were like, they, they, were, <laughs> they were giving you chemo. Are you going to say he never had cancer? Yes, that's what they're... This is so dumb. John, you know me. <gasps> it was the wrong... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we were neighbors, Anna and I. Anna and her husband, Matthew, were so kind, so supportive. I thank you for that. Those were better days for you, weren't they, Anna? That was a cool shot with the mirror. I know the two of you didn't always get along, but to have to endure that tragedy, the death of a child, and you wouldn't have rolled over and uh, suffocated your baby, that is what happened, right, Anna? She didn't. Oh, she lied. She killed the baby. Yeah. Is it going to be like shaking baby syndrome? I don't want to see her do it. She killed the baby. Oh, God. Oh, rough. Okay, so you suffocated your baby. You could make a person go mad. Evil. That's straight oh. up cool, yeah. So you killed two people, technically. I'm not gonna do anything. You have to simply assume responsibility for who you are. Did John just have this? Just another house, and he just watched the this. 
Okay. It's all like right now that I don't like it. I can't it's get dumb. over it. And I'm like, it's oh, they just so... switched up the names. Also, he got chemo. He chemo literally would had practically chemo. Ki- like, give me a break, y'all. <laughs> this is the worst. I, I, I would like. I would be happier if they were like they cloned me before I died. Right. He literally died. Yes. What? This is so dumb. Well, it looks like somebody's here. You sure you want to do this? Oh, man. That's why I'm like, are they pretending that that they're pretending like it didn't exist? I bet. So he just let his wife die. Maybe this is just supposed to no, because they're saying it took ten, he died 10 years ago. No, right. There's, there's no rational explanation. There's nothing. For anything. Sorry, I'm going through it right now. <laughs> they're going to have to say that he was cloned and that's why he's still. Please alive. give some Hail Mary bullshit excuse because yeah, right now better. it's all at the end is when it's going to come out. The math ain't math. It was doing the movie was doing so OK. It I was know, doing so well. It was prior doing to this. well, but right now. I'm... The fumbled the bag. Maybe he can recover, but God dang. OK, we need to bring him in now. Literally, her face just reads like I'm down to f- at all times. And Any- I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Why Anywhere, was no one like, anytime. hey, just calm it down and do it during these times. It's literally <laughs> all the time. Just turn the this down just a yeah, little just bit. Just like a little. It's distracting. <laughs> it's Jigsaw. <laughs> She's so turned on. <laughs> She's and needs another pair of panties. <laughs> She sees John, she's gonna lose it. Oh my god. She's gonna be like, I came. God. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to turn it all around. Use your key to freedom. I feel like they had to bring him back because they're like, well, he grounds it. We're eight movies in. I think this is the first time we've seen him actively running the traps with the people he's trapping. Because before it was either Amanda doing it or Hoffman and or he's just like um, a body on the ground, but yeah. Also, first movie without any flashbacks. Yeah, which I'm cool with. <laughs> <laughs> just check the new Amanda. I have a feeling, but like John Kramer from the start. Yeah. Lots of people are fascinated by Kramer. You know damn well I didn't kill Buckethead. Then who did? It's him. Go on. Go on. Put it down. Come on, caramel clumps. Yeah. All right. I'm going. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Whoa. Out. Immediately out. Please don't, because that's what he wants us to do, okay? Think about it. I want to scale. No, please don't, okay? Just shoot something in the room. I think he wants you to save a life. My only key to freedom is to kill you. That's not true. He doesn't want you to kill more people. He wants you to learn a lesson. Yeah, so you need to explore the environment more to see why. I feel like it's going to backfire and kill her. Yep, you're right. Called it. Yep. Oh, dang, girl. You blew off half your face. Ah, oh, it's a reprisal of the first movie because now he has one leg and the guy from the first one has one leg. Oh, the key. Yeah, okay. Here's your key to freedom. All they had to do was look inside the bullet. All they had to do was work together and do it. Ooh. Got him. Gotcha. Oh, another trap, eh? What have you lied about? What are your sins? Confess. Hello, gentlemen. You came looking for the game. You found it. These laser cutters slice through tissue and bone like butter. You both have an opportunity to live if you admit to the reason that you deserve to die. How are you alive? <laughs> Unless neither of us touch a button, we're both going to be f***ing a man in love for us. I would just be yelling out everything. Every sin it under all. the sun. Like, just come on. Out with it, y'all. I've done nothing wrong. Ooh. Oh. oh, God. 
God. We're doing this. On purpose. I'm so sorry. I confess. I just should have been there for you. I wouldn't have, like, cut his head open? Yeah, like when it went into his face, yeah, right? Yeah, like but slices. Then it, it made the sound like it activated once it got to his neck. Oh, uh, yeah. So maybe it's just, like, the laser light? That doesn't make sense, because it just showed it hitting the ceiling. Uh, yeah, then it doesn't make sense. I tampered with evidence. I, I, I took bribes. I put innocent people away. Innocent people died because of me. I did it. And the ceiling got to fall on. Ah, uh, he was in on it the whole time. He didn't make sense. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, it didn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, okay. You're working with I am him. I'm with a little help from you. No one will ever suspect it. Uh. Ten years ago in this very barn, a game was played. Uh. Oh. Bodies were never found. Jigsaw put me in that gang because 10 years ago, John decided I shouldn't have to die over an honest mistake. Uh. I've recreated Jigsaw's game with criminals from your failed cases. Jigsaw put five people in his game. I put in three. You and I are the last two. Why was Edgar Munson free? He was a murderer, but you were protecting him because he was your criminal informant. Edgar Munson killed my wife. Okay. I created a game that appeared to be run by Jigsaw. Oh, like we talked about, voice stuff. Mm -hmm. Lock 22, most cops do. So Tyler and he's got a 17. Okay, we need to bring him in, now. Because Eleanor will provide my alibi. Jigsaw, put the pieces of my life back together again. What? what? But then there will be no justice. No, but there will. This is bullshit. Where the hell was he the whole time? Together, we built a legacy. What? No, the f you didn't. Murderers, fists, their victims appeared on my table because of you. Oh, major redcons. We love that. Peel them like an orange. <laughs> oh. Okay, finally got the lines on the face. That's fun. Yep. Okay, is his face gonna split? Yep. Cool. Like a flower. Oh, it looks like a Stranger Things. Yeah, it does. That's cool. I speak for the dead. Oh my god. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen, protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. Ugh. This is not good. <laughs> that is not good like he's so old and then they're saying they're saying that he was from the beginning there the whole time from the very very beginning because he put the thing down because now i was thinking it might work because he john looks very old so they're right. they're saying like you got chemo and all this and then oh you found out you don't actually have cancer so you're gonna live and you're gonna live old 
but it's going to be fine. And here I introduce you. I messed it up. Sorry. So it, but you, it doesn't make sense it, because they're saying he was in the very first game from the very, very beginning. Exactly. Right? So they're saying that he never actually had cancer. So why was he dying at all? And why didn't they give movies? him chemo then? Like, are we supposed to ignore everything that's happened in the other movies, y'all? This is really bad. Oh, my God. Like, other people have to be upset by this, right? If you've watched all of the other movies, you have to go, wait, that doesn't... I mean, it does... I get they're trying to explain it. Like, okay, it makes sense. You're like, you mixed it up and he doesn't have cancer. And that's why he's still alive. But, like, it just seems like such a cop-out to me. It seems like a not a good plot It's not... It's a cop out, and not only do they try to retcon this for the sake of their own story, but it retroactively ruins the rest of them because you're like, oh, he never actually had cancer. He, but he was the guy who helped me, so I could do this to you now. I was like, that's that's dumb. That's really dumb. Did I see the twist coming? No, no. not particularly. But no. just because you do a twist that you don't see coming doesn't mean it makes lo- logistical sense. It's- yeah, I mean they're trying to go. Yes, this makes this makes sense because he never had cancer and that's why he's still alive. But I'm like, dude, we have so many other m- movies that have set up this world, and now you're just you're basically ripping it all out to give us this film. Exactly, which I don't understand. I was like, so, okay, so why go through all of that? Why you have why do you have all these other assistants? Because to carry on your legacy, what's the oh point of gosh, the stuff Oh my gosh, you guys, Hoffman? if you're listening to this on Apple or Spotify, I'm supposed to say this before we got into our review, but I got upset. Um, please rate this episode, and don't forget, guys, to buy a t-shirt. You go to www.redactationshop.com, but you have to put in the www. There's some people are having trouble getting t-shirts from... Redactation Shop. Put in the www before, okay? And we appreciate you, so rate it high. Anyway, get back at it. Yeah, yeah, this movie was uh not good. I will say, okay, before I go into it again. Yeah, there's some There's some yeah. positives. Yeah, there is, there is. Let's but, say some positives. But yeah. The traps were very cool, mm-hmm. very inventive. This is the first time since the first or second movie we're focusing on a cast of characters that are going through this this peril. Uh I know they've done it in other movies, but I feel like this is the most effective they've done it since the second one. That being said, it just, I don't know, it didn't come together. Once once they introduced the fact that it was actually Jigsaw, the original, coming back, that's when the movie kind of lost me. I'm like, all right, they're going to need to do something crazy to to win me back. And even if they, they did try to do it, or the, when we did get to the point where they tried to do it, it didn't work entirely. Like, the fact that he was, at first I was like, okay, oh no, it was him this whole time. Oh, the games we were watching was 10 years ago. Oh, okay, okay, this makes sense. Nope, because he was there the whole time from the beginning. But it, I don't know. And then there's no mention of any of the other supporting characters, like his wife or Hoffman or right. Amanda. And it's just, None of know. them. Like, how did they not, how was not, how did they not go, well, we have to place him now in the background. He's the guy you didn't see when Amanda was still around or when the other detective was still around who ended up being the guy that this new freaking more guy was in the background the whole time. Like, right? Like, I would have incorporated that somehow, but they just threw him in here. I think the thing that bugs me the most, because I knew that in the beginning I was like, we figured out or I was like, we were saying it must be a voice thing. Like they're, Mm -hmm. they're messing with his voice and like, it's now, it's now time. Here's his voice and someone else is behind the scenes, right? which it was, it was more guy. But the fact that they have to connect him to John and that John was still alive because he didn't have cancer, which he had for like two of the movies. Right. Uh, like three of the movies, I think. Or three of them. He was dying the whole time. So you're saying like, yeah, you would be you would be very mad at him if he messed up your x-rays because you were under chemo. You're in a wheelchair with oxygen on and in a bed uh, and you got your brain drilled into. Like, I'm just like, what? No, no. Like, it's it's just there's some pieces that I'm like, but the, the jigsaw, it's not a good... Jigsaw with that. I feel like the puzzle don't fit. It doesn't fit very well. I get what they're trying to do. 
but it's not like, wow, that was great. And oh, we got here, which I had, did. We say number one and number two, we, we, I felt that. And I did really appreciate the game in this. The games that we are good. follow the characters. We finally got what we wanted, an isolated game with characters where we just follow them, get to know them. They have to work together and confess and do all that. But then when we break out of it and we fo- and what sexy lady cop where she just ran off and we never. Well, yeah. So she is going to be his alibi because oh, he was right. there when the cop kind of came and oh, kidnapped great. him. So sexy lady cop is going to be in the next one. Yeah. But wait, then who is the one that injected him to put him in the trap in the first place? If he. Oh, because he knocked him out and he then he knocked he him out and then he knocked him out. Yes. And then he went. OK, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's disappointing. Uh, I mean, they, there's, there's the fact yeah. that they they waited seven years only to go and then retroactively fuck up the rest of their timeline is insane. I was like, wow, I've never seen a movie go and willingly just go screw itself over for the sake of a cash grab. And oh man, like the it's, the the effects are cool. You can definitely tell this is a different director, different different creative team. But yeah. man, I just don't think that they they really landed it. And it sucks because the it was starting to get interesting. It was yeah. interesting in a way that we hadn't seen in a long time and the gore was was cool, I guess. And I don't know, yeah. man. The games were cool. The I liked cool. I liked the actors. I appreciated that we got an isolated game with just the people and we were following them. It mm-hmm. reminded me a lot of like not really one but two. Yeah, um yeah, yeah. which uh and the, as I was saying during it, the lighting and the way that it's shot, much more cinematic, especially from the last like three. They were like, we would always say like more TV movie. This seemed like more movie movie. Great. Mm-hmm. But the thing that makes me the most mad is when he sets down the thing from one, from one, the the thing. The face clamp mask. From one. That's from one, right? Yeah, that's from one. Yeah. Because that was Amanda's trap. So nope. he was there before Amanda. Nope. There before Hoffman. And why is he so young then? It's been ten. It's been how long? How does John? I just what was he? He's a child. Oh my god! Are they going to say no? Because they showed him. Are they going to say lot. that the Moore guy is like a the kid? Did we ever the find kid? that kid from one or two that was trapped? That we were like. Uh, no, I don't think he. I think the only trap he did for. Or this guy was the remember the Wahlberg's head. kid. Wahlberg's kid, no, because he would have no, because that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, because he'd be an adult already. At that that's point. what I'm saying. But he, right? So that's that's what makes me mad by saying he's he's like from the very beginning, and he lays down the the it's hat from, from the one very beginning, and it's and the guy is the age. That he is when he lays down the number one hat. That he is right now, and he's cutting off the other detective's face. Right? He has an. He has he's an, an age in the last and I 10 need years. a timeline on it. This movie doesn't care about content. <sighs> but it makes me so upset <laughs> and everyone else should be upset too because we should care about that. I hope y'all are upset because this doesn't make any sense. It's and like a lot of it was cool, but a lot, the ending when you don't make sense with it, it gets me upset. Yeah. I will say that they were trying to be cute. They're trying to be clever with it, right? Because they, the fact that the guy in the room with him turned out to be the killer or turned to be the new jigsaw the whole time. Yeah. That's a callback to one. Him totally. closing the cellar, callback to one. Easter the eggs. fact that there's like five of them in the room, callback to to two and to, um, I don't remember which one it was when they were all had the, yeah, the one with the had neck the and they had to get the like key. Four or five. Four or five, yeah, something like that. Or, so they're yeah. like callbacks and references to previous games, not to mention the room of memorabilia. For some reason, that girl just has in a warehouse because you know she can afford it with that salary i don't know there's a a lot of stuff in here just didn't make sense like i understand some of the intention like they wanted they wanted to bring the the franchise back for a sense of nostalgia but you got to at least make it plausible if you're going to do something like that because otherwise you run the risk of ruining everything you've set up with just one movie that takes place years later because even when we saw the detective in three or four, they gave us glimpses of like he was in the environment where Amanda was, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. We were like, oh, he has been there the whole time. This one just was like, and I've been there the whole time. Here's the cap from one. And then they did the same thing with the last movie with uh, <sighs> the guy who was in the first movie. Remember the the doctor? 
Yes. Like, but that's so, it's a lazy pull. Like, why are we doing that? We're, you got. We're better than this. And there's a lot of like decent writing and decent games in here that I think is good. Yeah. Like that I'm like, those setups and stuff, like I was really engaged, but the, the flip on it, I'm just like. No, we got to try harder, I think. Yeah, I feel like most of them, I will, one thing I will say, all the stuff with the proper games and with John isolated was good. Prime time. All yeah. that stuff was good because yeah. it felt authentic to the character that we established in the past eight, seven, eight movies. And I'm like, okay, good. But everything around that, the plot of the thing itself in a whole does not work. No. It, it doesn't work. I was like, okay, I get it. You want to bring back the stuff because you want to bring back the the nostalgic feel of this franchise that was so popular. And it was cool that it took us like eight movies, but the fact that we finally got to see the culmination of a game with John being the person talking to them at the end. Yeah. Which was like, okay. That was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I liked that aspect because normally, or we've come accustomed to either being Hoffman there or being Amanda there. Or he's just like bedridden or something. So you know, I liked the I liked that thing uh, yeah. in a vacuum. But yeah, overall, this movie was uh, pretty disappointing. Uh, yeah, some good stuff, but they just fumbled hard, fumbled hard at the end. Yeah, I I mean, we'll be curious to hear you guys' thoughts. I mean, we are fans of the franchise. We've been yeah. watching all of them back to back, so there is definitely definitely huge parts of this that we did enjoy, but. Obviously, the reason why initially coming right out of my mouth, I was like, this is not good. It's not because all of the some of the parts are bad. It's because of at the end. And I just think that that is a it's a weird sloppy flip that I'm like, no, we didn't incorporate it well enough. Yeah, I think there was a better way to do it. But mm. um, I would give this one like a like a six, I guess. I mean, the games, like the games and the right, like the writing in the beginning, all that, it's like the end that made me mad. I'm just going to go with six, maybe, maybe five and a half, six. Cause it, the, sh- the, the, the cinematic shots, the lighting, there was a lot of stuff that added up, but True. you guys know my feelings now. Yeah. What are you, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm sitting at a 5.5. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it feels around there, it right? It feels around there it because like there were that. some good elements in here. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what? Scratch that. Oh, For the good elements, the stuff that for I did games, like, I'll give it a six. That's, I think, where we're together on that 100% because the game's in the beginning and it was new stuff and I was glad we didn't open up on, my, on a head clamp again. There was It was really all new inventive games, which was interesting to watch. They were so close, though. Yeah, so close. Because I'm like, okay, you almost fixed it, the fact that he was still alive and the fact that these were games played by John. I agree. And then you screwed it up by muddling up your continuity and just, man, disappointing. Yeah. It was well, let's fun. See we I didn't regret watching it. Was it was fun. And let's see if on the next one we can get back to it. Maybe we'll see what they what they do with it because we'll have no idea. But leave a like on this. Leave us a comment. Tell us tell us what you guys think, whether you like it or not. Do you agree with us or not? Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe. Buy a T-shirt. Go to the Reject, uh, the reject Shop, Real Rejects Shop. Put a www dot in the front because you can get to the website. There's some people having difficulty. I hear. Um, Word on the street. Then, yeah, join Patreon if you haven't already. We love you so much, and we will see you. We've got two more left here. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace.